A brief history of the automobile. A robot struts into the atrium of a museum, engaging patrons about the history of the automobile. Hello and thank you for coming to the new museum of the automobile. Thank you for showing a vested interest in the history of your cars. If you will follow me to the first exhibit. Here we see man, early incarnation, an intrepid explorer. He sits atop a triceratops. This shows his early penchant for riding atop things both larger and more powerful than himself. And, and, you, sir, a question? Uh, about that triceratops, uh, that can't be right. Man and dinosaur didn't exist at the same time. You are wrong. Continuing. Follow me. Here we arrive at our next scene. Man sits in an active volcano, forging the very first car parts. You see, at the time, the volcano was the only source of fire sufficient enough to forge car parts. Also, as an interesting side note, these car parts were the first parts utilized in a race car. Excuse me, excuse me. Hmm, no questions it seems. Well, follow me to the next exhibit. Here we arrive at a scene depicting man struggling with his inner demons. That of eating and drag. Yes, many a car crash was derived from the masticatory pleasure of indulging in a pizza or a cheesesteak. We at the museum choose to focus on the cheesesteak. Sad, truly, truly sad. Continuing, follow me. Here we see the beginning of the end for the automobile, the 100-year car war. Yes, this war was started from manufacturers who produced a car capable of 99% efficiency. Yet, unfortunately, the product was deemed unprofitable and was dumped into the Marianas Trench. This directly led to global warming, which, in hand, led to the war between man and sea creature. Fortunately for your race, you won. But they were tragic times indeed. Continuing, follow me. Here we arrive at our final scene in the museum. The destination of the automobile, that as a children's toy. Who among you has not floated high above the waistline in your jetpack whilst watching a child zoom 300 miles per hour out into that same wasteland. Such glee. I think if you look into the face of that child, you will see much the same look upon that of early man as he revved his engine and ran a red light. Quite magnificent indeed. Well, thank you friends for joining me on this tour of the history of the automobile. Your patronage is greatly appreciated. All information has been collected and presented by the Robotic Liberation Organization. We accept all donations, and yes, even motor oil. Thank you. The end.